In this video, I'm going to explain how to find the row space, the column space and the null space. So we are given a matrix A, which is uh, having these components. And uh, so we're going to perform AX equal to zero. Uh, and uh, for AX equal to zero, we write the matrix A, multiply it with X1, X2, X3, X4, and that will be equal to zero. So the first step is to convert this uh, matrix into its uh, row reduced echelon form. So you can apply a few row steps and uh, get to this particular form. And you can see here that uh, this is a row reduced echelon form. I have circled the pivot columns and the main diagonal is having one and zero. And everything below the main column is zero. It's an upper triangular matrix, right? So how do we find the column space? Identify the pivot points. These are the pivot points. You have one and everything below that is zero. You have one, everything below that is zero. So these are the pivot points. Match these columns, the pivot columns to the original matrix. So you have column number one, column number two, right? And match them to the original matrix. So this is column number one. I match this to column number one of the original matrix. It is one, three, and two. Therefore, C1, column space one is one, three, two. Then you have zero, one, zero. This is the second pivot point. Match, this is column number two, match this to column number two of original matrix two zero minus two that is the second column space therefore the column space is written as c1 equal to one three two and c2 equal to two zero minus two now let's see uh, how we can find uh, the row space so from the row reduced uh, echelon uh, form matrix look at the rows with uh, pivot points so you can see that uh, row 1 and row 2 are the rows with the pivot points and then just match these rows to get the row space right so if you look at the row reduced echelon form uh, row number 1 is nothing but 1 0 1 by 3 5 by 3 and row number 2 is nothing but 0 1 4 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 therefore you will get the row uh, space from the row reduced echelon form so please note the difference how to find the column space and row space for finding the column space, you find the pivot columns, then you go back to the original matrix and then get the columns from the original matrix. Whereas for the row reduced, uh, for the row space, you only look at the row reduced echelon form, find the uh, pivot points and match the rows and then just pick off those rows, right? So these two will be the row space. Now uh, let's see how we can find the null space. Now use the row reduced echelon form matrix, which is uh, given as that. Now use x3 and x4 as they are free variables because these are these two are the pivot columns. So we are going to use this column and this column. So these are known as the free variables. So we are going to use the free variables to find the null space. And then solve for x1 and x2 because these are these two are not free variables. Right? So let's let's assume x3 is t because it belongs to this column. And let's assume x4 is some s because this belongs to this column. You can assume any value, right? So now you write the equation here. So you have x1 plus 0 x2 plus 1 by 3 x3 plus 5 by 3 x4 equal to 0. Therefore, x1 will be minus 1 by 3 x3 and I'm assuming x3 is t. So minus t by 3 uh, minus 5 by 3 x4. x4 is assumed to be s. So you have minus 5 by 3 s. Similarly, look at this row uh, and then write the equation. So the equation for x2 turns out to be this. Okay. So now how do we write the null space? x1 pick off the constant which is minus 1 by 3. For x2 pick off this constant which is minus 4 by 3. x3 we are assuming as t therefore I am just going to write as 1. And x4 remains 0. Then comma. Now pick off uh, uh, the other factors for s minus 5 by 3 plus 1 by 3, x3 is 0 and x4 is assumed to be s, therefore the constant 1. So these two will give you the null space for the matrix which is given. 